back to another video tutorial on how to make your own custom zombies map. In this video, I'm going to get to some good stuff. I'm going to show you guys how to get models from Black Ops 1, uh, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare, and uh, maybe a few other ones. I'm not too sure. I can't really remember. But uh, it's, we're going to open up your internet browser. We're going to go over to Tom Crowley's website. TomCrawley.co.uk slash downloads. If anything, I'm going to have the link down in the description. Uh, if anything, you would type in Tom-Crawley.co.uk. So uh, once you get to this website, you're going to be presented with this page. You know, it's going to have a few cool apps that's made for um, custom zombies. So you want to go over to downloads and you want to scroll down to, okay, now. Lime 64, this is actually for you to export models. Now this works for Ghost and Advanced Warfare. Now the one we're looking for is Lime, which supports Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3. So uh, it's, of course, you know, go over to Downloads. It's going to direct you to this page. You're going to scroll down just a little bit. You're going to click on the green where it says Download. Give it a few seconds, and okay, I already got the download finished. I'm gonna click open, and it's gonna open up as a as a rare file. So right now it's gonna show you a folder that says 0.9.9.97. That's the version of this program. So uh, you want to extract these files over to to the desktop. So we're gonna do that right now. There we go. Now let me close this little window here. And we're going to open up the folder that we just extracted. Now you're going to see a bunch of files and you're also going to see Lime in the middle. So uh, what you want to do is you want to click on Lime. Now with this program, I think you do have to be online in order for it to update or run perfectly. But you know, nowadays everybody has the internet access. so. Uh, you guys should be good to go, especially if you're watching this video. You're already good. All right, so now you want to open up uh, one of the games that's in the list. As for myself, I'm going to open up Black Ops. I already got my Steam open. I got Black Ops over here. I'm going to click that play button. Let's do it. All right, now when you do this, you want to make sure that... Uh, oops, actually, let's close line first. All right, so... No, I don't want to go into safe mode. Now, when you when you're gonna copy these um, X models, you want to make sure that you go into window mode. That way, you can have the Black Ops window to the left and the folder to the right, or vice versa. You know, you just want to make sure you can access the desktop while you're looking at the game. So it's best to do this in window mode. You know, right now I'm in, uh, let me show you my settings. Settings, graphics, and I'm on 800 by 600, and I have full screen off. So that's how I'm able to do this. All right, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to pick a zombies game. I'm going to go into solo. It will work on multiplayer, but best thing to do is do it on solo. So click on solo. Pick the map that you want to rock, or at least get the models from. Right now, I'm going to try to get some models from um, the game 5. So I'm going to click on that. Let the game run. You know, once you load into the map, you're going to click on the Lime icon. Just give it a second. There we go. And I'm in. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to hit... Alt tab and I'm gonna go over to the folder where the files are. I'm gonna double click on Lime. And here it is. Now just by noticing this little icon, the black ops icon, you can tell that it's already registering the game and you're ready to get those models. So let me uh let me pause this for a quick second. Now what you want to do is you want to go to list models right over here. So you're going to click on that 
And there you have it. It's loading up all the models that are in this map. That way you can export it and put it into your World at War Zombies game. All right, so there's also a little search field on the bottom right. That way you can look for a specific model. Or else you can export them all. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to look for one. I'm going to look for, let's see, I'm going to put chair. Click on find. And there it is. It already took me to a chair model. So now what you want to do is you want to click on load model. There we go. Now it loaded up all the models. So I'm free to pick whichever one I want. All right, so like I was saying, I want to pick chair. Go back to that one. And what you want to do is uh, hit export selected. Either you can click on this little check and it'll export the MA file, which means that you can put it into Maya and modify it. But what we really want is the export XE because that's what COD reads in terms of X models. And it's also going to add to GDT meaning it's gonna make a little file that way we can convert it easily into World at War so with all this already hooked up I'm gonna click on export and there it is as you can see exported P pen chair boardroom alright so I can click on that and as you can see it already exported the images for it which are these right here that Targa file is a COD file that it's able to convert the textures for the model. And if you go to P pen chair boardroom, and here it is, that's the model. So that's, if anything, you know, tinker around with it, look for the models that you want. In the next video, I'm going to do a part two on how to actually put it into your world at war. But uh, for now, you know, let's get everything ready, and I should have the video up by tomorrow. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button, and subscribe for future content. In the next video, I'm going to get into full detail, just showing you guys a quick little preview. Alright guys, have a good night.